megalodons have been sighted all around the world? Question mark from our favorite people, Brightside. Always have some great opinions. Can't wait to see the megalodons that have been sighted all around the world. Once again, I'm going to be getting help from a sponsor to code this video. And as usual, it's Curiosity Stream. More on that later. The megalodon, which means big tooth, is the largest shark ever to roam the Earth's seas and oceans. It reportedly lived <laughs> that animation. to 3.6. I love when they just take a still image and then drag it across their screen. I mean, he tried with the splash sound effects, but... ...on the Earth's seas and oceans. The shark literally does not move at all. <laughs> its bite was more powerful than that of a T-Rex. And no wonder. Not only did the animal have super strong jaws, but its teeth also reached 7 inches in length. That's as long as a small hedgehog. Even better, the <laughs> megalodon. Oh, thank God. You couldn't put it in, you know, millimeters or another unit that people would understand, but it's the size of a small hedgehog because everyone has the size of a small hedgehog in their brain for reference. So that's like small hedgehog. That's like 2.3 bananas long. Got it. While a fully grown T-Rex weighed about eight tons, a large megalodon's weight reached 50 to 60 tons, as much as nine <laughs> mature <laughs> look African at, elephants. Look at the crop job on this. Weight reach <laughs> Look, they just selected white in their photo editing program and then hit delete. And so there's loose pixels everywhere and then there's just a chunk of the shark missing right below its dorsal fin. With no competitors, the immense shark was a real king of the oceans. It even hunted whales. Surely such a majestic creature couldn't disappear without a trace. Oh, and it most indeed, certainly could if... You know, the entire ecosystem changed and its food sources disappeared and it was outcompeted by better and faster sharks. There have been several cases when witnesses were sure they had seen the Meg. Sure. But could it be just their fear? To I have two separate images of whale sharks. <laughs> the most popular guesses have been the bull shark and the great white. While swimming in a tropical sea, that was it. Anywhere. The most popular guesses. He called this a megalodon sighting all around the world. Set up that whole thing just to say that it's probably a white shark or a bull shark. So warm waters, huge size, formidable jaws. Is he just describing is a whale megalodon? shark? Nah, just a whale shark. What? Despite what is this? Is he dis? Okay, is he on my side or no? I genuinely can't tell if he's on my side. He just set all of that up just to say that it's a whale shark. Quite its impressive bulk. This creature is slow moving and totally docile. It may grow as long as the Meg used to. That's just a normal whale. The whale shark is a filter feeder, and its favorite food is plankton. Why are we talking the about the whale shark? Why is this video called Megalodons have been sighted all around the world when we're talking? Joe hates low temperatures. So he's just telling, I feel like he's on my side. At first, I wasn't sure if he was being sarcastic or not, but now he's just talking about all the explanations for Megalodon sightings. I like this. It's educational. These are, the, these are the real explanations of probably every megalodon sighting that's ever been reported. Why do so many people just think that megalodons are just big white sharks? Because humans use what they already have. They have a frame of reference and they use that knowledge to just go forward and they compare everything to that. So if they're going to imagine a really large shark that we don't know its coloration or patterning or anything, they just assume that it must look exactly like, because that's their frame of reference, the biggest shark that they currently know. Like it doesn't even, it doesn't make sense that, that megalodons would have been white, would have same, you know, had the same coloration as white sharks considering they lived in an entirely different environment and time period, but just because that's what humans can compare to. So anytime you hear these sightings, it always sounds like it's just a really big great white because it probably is just a big great white. Do you ever watch these reactions and think, okay, but what if, like what if I was wrong the entire time? Like what if the Meg is still around? I've actually like had this thought, you know, sitting in my bed late at night, like, man, I would look so dumb. That was until I recently watched a section of the top science stories of 2021 on Curiosity Stream, who sponsored this video, where they talked about the logistical reasons that the Megalodon went extinct. And they gave even more proof than I had seen before to the point where even as someone who's like barely gone beyond a basic ichthyologist knowledge of sharks, I'm extremely confident in the science behind the Megalodon's extinction. And I've actually spent just like a bit more time with sharks in general 
uh, which is not something I normally focus on as an ichthyologist because they just have such a crazy selection of good stuff to watch. Uh, and I've actually been enjoying watching a bunch of these things on Curiosity Stream. So if you want to check out what they've got, it's pretty awesome. Highly recommend it to anyone who wants to learn more about basically anything. Uh, you guys know I'm picky with only choosing sponsorships from products I believe in. I've turned down a ton of sponsorships. That's why I've only done four sponsorships ever, and three of them were Curiosity Stream. So that should tell you something. Uh, if you're interested in supporting me, the link is on screen and in the description. Back to this mess of a video. It seems people who claim to have seen the Meg mistook large size but more or less common sharks for the ancient super predator. But what if they were right? And oh. the giant shark did Man, still we were we were doing really well. We were we were all on the whole what if they were wrong thing. Now we're on the what if they were right. Okay. Exist. The Megalodon was an apex predator. It means the sharks didn't have any other creatures to be afraid of. It probably had to compete for food with other species, but there was no animal that could hunt the Meg. In such conditions, it would be strange if the Megalodon population didn't grow. Now imagine even a hundred of these 60-ton <laughs> animals. At least a couple of them would be bound to be spotted by people. The Megalodon was at the t Yeah, this is definitely another AI script, but they've reversed it. Instead of like typing into the AI script generator, what if the Megalodon was real? They typed like, what if it wasn't real or proof against it? And then they just let the video run with their AI script like they always do. The Megalodon lived in tropical regions all over the world. Its fossils have been found in many corners of the planet. That is just not a Megalodon. Very clearly a Dunkleosteus. Its fossils have been found in many... Doesn't even remotely cleared. look like a Megalodon at all. ...of the planet. Just an entire skull. Another reason why the Megalodon wouldn't be able to avoid people is that the whale shark preferred tropical and subtropical, which means warm waters. The creature wouldn't be hiding in the deep, unexplored parts of the ocean. It would be simply too cold for it there. Wow. If the Megalodon did exist, it would be Ah, uh, yes. Got to reuse that animation because it was Near so the good. If the Megalodon existed, the world ocean would look very different. Large animals have a great influence on ecosystems. By the way, there's a theory that the Meg went Still extinct not the all Meg. those years ago. You've just taken the same image that you showed like 10 seconds ago, flipped it horizontally, and then played it no, again. Because the changing oceans didn't have enough food for the giant carnivore. In other words, experts state there's simply no way the Megalodon still exists. No fossils newer than from two million years ago found. No huge shadows hiding in the depths. I, no. Okay, you know what? Commendable video. But I feel like I've watched this channel before, and it has not been so good. Yep, okay, yep. Did they find a Megalodon in the Mariana Trench? What if Megalodon still existed? Megalodon versus Titanoboa. Did the Megalodon turn into the Great White? What if you came face to face? So, while that video was fairly commendable, the channel in general is literally just, I mean, like an AI that's just writing scripts. I mean, it's just a worse version of Whirly's AI videos that were made for us. Not good. Whoa.